We've got to start with the big news story coming out of Edinburgh this week. Blair Kinghorn heading to Toulouse uh, and will be away after the Ulster game for a six-figure release. What, what's your reaction to it? Oh, I think it's brilliant for Blair. Um, I mean, he's been such an impressive player for a long time at Edinburgh. Plays standoff, plays fullback, most comfortable at fullback, I think. But an opportunity that comes along at like this for Blair mm. to play a top 14 with and a star studded team with so much history, and he's you know he's you know played over 100 games for Edinburgh. He's got 50 caps for Scotland. I think it's brilliant for him. It's a big miss for Edinburgh. I know we're going to have a look at some of his uh, influences and statistics later on, so it'll be a big miss. Um, although Edinburgh do have a lot of talent mm. in that back three, but I, it's a wonderful opportunity for him, and, and we wish him well. Can you see the attraction, Ryan? Oh, I certainly can, yeah. <laughs> if, if I find out exactly how much he's getting paid, then <laughs> it'll let us know even more. But what an opportunity for him. And mm -hmm. do you know what? I don't think it's the worst thing for Scotland either to have him going and getting that experience over in Toulouse in the top 14. It'll be, you know, that little bit more experience back to the Scotland team as well. So I think everyone wins all round, except Edinburgh, sadly. He's impressed for Edinburgh already this season. And, and like you touched on, he's a fantastic player. You can understand why Toulouse want him. Let's have a look at just some of the excellent play that he's had this season alone. Yeah, this is a, you know, this season. This is his first game back against the Lions. He's just his pace and outside channels and his, his ability to distribute. His counter-attack, he's all-round fullback, but he's such a skill set. We're looking at some of the data and, and the, the statistics around his influence in, in Edinburgh alone this season. Now, he's... Most metres made, most offloads, most defenders beaten. Uh, and I think it's joint first for, for assist passes and line breaks as well. This is him against Leinster, against the best defence, one of the best defences in a tournament, and, and just ripping it apart. Watch this for an assist pass right out of this. Oh, it's a line break as well. It's even confusing me. There was a pass he distributed <laughs> to Duhan van der Merwe in that corner last week, safe on the hardball. His influence has been massive for Edmund, and it will be again tonight and next week as well. But he's got so much to offer. I, I'm, I'm not surprised a team like Toulouse just came in uh, and asked for him. These are some of his stats then, 138 appearances, he's 26, it's a great time to be heading over for a sort of change in his career as well. Made his Edinburgh debut back in 2015 and there you have it, the, the points scored, the tries in all competitions and you just said it there Chris, he's got 50 caps for Scotland. I mean, he'll have to deliver him to lose as well. I was just about to say that, it comes know? with a different pressure yeah. doesn't it playing over there? Yeah and I think he'll grow with both hands, um, you know. He, he's, he's obviously got aspirations to keep pushing in the Scotland team and he wants to do well there. But like you said, it's a new challenge and it can bring the best out in players. He's a big man, six foot four, six foot five. And that's why some of the stats, you know, you look at the offloads, he's a player that in the backfield is absolutely outstanding when he's in a, attacking and he's unassumingly quick, isn't he, Mossy? When he goes, he's off. He's Edinburgh off. also do have a, a fair bit of yep. talent. And I mean, we say fair, they have a lot of talent. They hit, with Blair still here, four internationals in that back row. So you can understand why he's been allowed to go. And the fact that Toulouse yeah. have, have stumped up the money well, to get big, him out early. That's a big factor as mm. well. I mean, Duhan van der Merwe moved back to the club after, you know, the, well, the disappointing circumstances around Wooster, he wouldn't really have been budgeted for, and, and it's another top quality international player in the back three. Emiliano Befell is probably a better fullback than he is a mm -hmm. winger as well, so he can slot in there. Darcy Graham, we all know about Wes Houston's having a really terrific season. There's young guys like Jake Henry, you know, Nathan Sweeney, there's so many coming through as well. So, yeah, there, there's still a lot of talent there, but a talent like that moving on, it, it, it's a miss for the club, but a brilliant opportunity for, for Blair, and, and uh, good luck to him and Toulouse.